Well, despite hitting an air pocket midway through the session, the Dow Jones Industrial Average climbed off the canvas and closed at its ninth record in 2018, the 80th since President Trump came into office. The Nasdaq had the most difficulty this session, swooning 45 points after several of the high-flying tech names stumbled on profit-taking. You know, it's interesting because many attribute the midday market struggles to comments from Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin about the virtues of a weak dollar, at least on a short-term basis. So I find it odd that a lot of names that benefit most from a weak dollar would turn lower. I mean, think about Apple, Facebook, Alphabet, Google, Amazon. We're talking more than $400 billion offshore, and they generate enormous revenues outside the United States. So I think this anxiety is more about uh, being associated with the fact that they've enjoyed a parabolic move. And on that note, uh, for those who are afraid of a trade war, I'm not saying it's not a dangerous path to go down, but I'm saying that we do need to take a stand. In fact, I'll give you an example. Today, shares of American Superconductor rallied 12 percent on a guilty verdict for one of China's largest wind turbine companies, Sinovel. Uh, they were found guilty of stealing intellectual property and then brazenly selling it back to American customers. As for everyone invoking Adam Smith and the cautionary tales of Smoot Hawley, remember Thomas Jefferson and William McKinley and Ronald Reagan saw the virtues in reciproc reciprocal trade and occasionally the need for tariffs. So besides solar panels and washing machines, let's face it, this is not the same as 20,000 items that were hit back in 1930. After the close, by the way, Whirlpool at the center of the current controversy reported their results. They saw revenue come in slightly better than expected, but they did miss on earnings. The sore spot? Asia. They can't get in there. Revenues were down over 8 percent and margins in the United States continue to suffer, <clears throat> some say by product dumping by Lucky Group and Samsung. By the way, financials were the best performing S&P sector as money continues to rotate out of tech into names like Goldman Sachs and AIG. The financial sector, in fact, up more than 7 percent in 2018, 28 percent in the past year. And while energy stocks today were flat, West Texas Intermediate soared and tickled that 66 number dollar barrel. And this even after the crude drawdown was less than expected. Now, part of this oil move is trading related, uh, but another part reflects confidence in, the, in global demand and that it's going to remain strong, but also confidence that producers will continue to act smart. Now, tomorrow morning, keep an eye on Caterpillar. They report before the open. This stock has been unstoppable. Today, they released their monthly retail machine report, revealing mind-boggling growth around the world. But for me, it underscores my investment thesis I've been telling you about for the last year. U.S. manufacturing renaissance is on. After negative year-over-year -year sales, it reversed early last year. And then December, we saw a 23% climb in North America alone. The bottom line is we may have more air pockets. You must own, though, more than just tech names. And it's okay, by the way, to take profits and even a loss. But remember, only if the fundamentals have changed. Otherwise, ride out the air pockets and don't buy into the emotions of the crowd.